morning and welcome to Utopia Farms. Um, it's unbelievably cold today. Um, like I think the wind is blowing so hard my hands are just freezing cold in the fall. But I think uh, with wind chill we're at minus 35 Celsius today. It's just ruthless. So um, we're going to get into the barn quickly. Hope that no water lines froze overnight and hope all the lambs are okay. So let's go in and see what happened. So we're trying to teach the lambs to go on the bottle feeders. Looks like Kevin's got it. Mm -hmm. try Karen. Karen. And with Arnie there, that's Hunchy. Mm -hmm. Look at how nice she looks. And she's hungry. Look at pretty straight back, wagging the tail. Karen and uh, Kevin are learning the bottle feeder. Uh, this one is the one who used to live across from Karen and Kevin. He's still. If I hold the bottle like this, doesn't like it too much. But uh, he wants to be held this one. But I gotta get him used to that so he'll drink on the feeder. They drank that whole thing. But but Kevin had a big bottle, didn't he? Kevin's a pig. Kevin, are you a pig? No, I'm a lamb. Oh, and see this guy, he's taking it now, too, without being hugged. Takes a while. Doesn't mean he won't get attention, but uh, if uh, once that they're all in that bottle feeder, I just line up the bottles and they all come take it. But then Kevin tries to, he has more than his fair share, and then he'll go try knock everyone else off. But that was, uh, I wanted to show you that about Hunchy and about this guy. Now this one down here, once uh, this lamb's done, this is one of those tubers. Um, yesterday I got the bigger of the tubers to drink bottles so it didn't have to get tubed all day. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to try the smaller one and hopefully it's on a bottle too. But uh, progress, this is the first uh, pen that we we're checking out so but there there's Hunchy you see uh, she still holds herself a little funny but uh, you have to admit that's a massive improvement actually she's due for her uh, shot again today and here's uh, the mom who adopted Wally Hi, Mom. You're really, really nice. You're a nice mom. You saved Wally. You saved Wally. You did. You saved her. And there they both are. Not quite a wall, but a nice... Wally likes the little dark areas. They're okay. Thank goodness for the sun today. Um, this barn is where the ram lambs are. Hey buddies. Uh, it's cold in here, but uh, these guys are all well in the way and the cold's not going to affect them any. That's a nice ram. What, what number is he? Really like that. So these guys are doing really good. Um, they got frosty backs, but uh, adult sheep don't mind this. It's, uh, it's the lambs we'd be concerned about in temperatures like today. Uh, these sheep all have a good uh, coat of wool on, and uh, they do have shelter from the wind. We're actually, because it's sunny, we're going to leave the front door open on this barn because the front door is south. And I'm guessing a lot of them will lay out in the sun here. Where it is, where you can feel the heat in the trap. All the 
those sheep have frost on their backs. It's really hard to capture the frost though. It's just a fine layer of frost. But everyone in this barn is healthy. That's the main thing. The ewes are recovering from having lambs. The ram lambs have all been sorted and these are the ones who made the cut. And the ewe lambs are all doing good back there. The replacement ewes, they're, they're actually yearlings now. This is the other adult coverall. I just raised uh, the door. It was shut for the night to hold in the heat. But as you can see, it's a bright sunny day. And although it's windy, the wind is coming from the due north and all our barns are south facing. So we'll leave the curtains up and the north doors closed, but leave the doors at the front wide open so the sunlight can come in and uh, you will find that all the sheep will come up and lay in the sunshine. Hi girls! But like I said, these guys, as long as they're out of uh, terrible drafts, the cold doesn't affect them. They, they seem to do really good in the cold. The air is fresher. But uh, hi! How y'all doing? Hey, you a little bit frosty. Yeah, you're a little frosty. Yeah, you're a little frosty. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. You're very pretty. Yeah, and you are too. And you are. You guys are all so nice. You guys are all so nice. Yeah. And we're now on the final coverall. I just came in. This All of the doors are closed on this barn because this is where the lambs are. And this has the least number of sheep in here, so we want to make sure it is uh, warm in here. So we're back in with the lambs. And I, we're going to set these barns up properly to, because it's too cold to, for Arnie to do manure today with the wind. So we're going to uh, move these barns around a bit. These guys are going to go on the other side. And the white lambs are going to come up here, and the rams are going to go up front. We're going to set up all the creep pens and give them their uh, creep feed now. They should be old enough to start trying that. Uh, I just put a little bit of hay in the creep pen, and uh, as you can see, the lambs are all excited about that. There's number two again. He's always out on his own. I think he's like already thinks he's cute boss kingpin in here but uh, this barn has got a hundred and forty feet facing south so we are gonna leave the doors closed on this barn because there's no sun shining in the door so there's no reason to open them but the curtains are bringing in heat this barn feels comfy none of our drinkers froze yay and the lambs seem to be um, doing really well. There's two brothers maybe, probably, under the feeder there. And these guys are all going to have a little romp now. Sheep actually do better in cold temperatures than uh, warm temperatures. <laughs> this is going to be the white pen. I see Arnie's bringing, looks like Arnie's going to set up the creep pen now. Rue, is that you? Yep, that's Rue there. Chasing her mom around. There she is. 
she is. Okay, we'll help Parney do this and then uh, we'll show you what the creep pens look like, although you've seen them before, but for those who haven't, we'll set these up here for these guys. And this is the uh, little dorset lambs in their creep area. But they're, these guys aren't going to be here for long because we're going to move this around today, but see the steam on her back? But they're all good. There's Jezebel. And Jerry's in there eating with that little lamb beside him. Nope, we were lucky uh, for a sunny day. The sun makes so much difference in these barns. Bringing some straw in. Main barn. to turn foggy when you open uh, those doors. But as soon as we shut it, it goes away again. It's not like it's smoke or anything bad. They're inhaling. And there she is. She's going to come out of the jug today. She's humongous still. You're the biggest one and you're a girl. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. We got two more to let out into the group pen now. Okay, Mom, you're ready to go in here. And there's her lambs. Come on, you can go in there. You can find that gate. Come on, take them in. Take them in. There you go. Go with your mom. There you go. Go with your mom. There you go. It's always nice when they go in common. Go on. Two more. We're doing afternoon chores now. And uh, before we go set up the coverall, we have a ewe that's coming in. Is she in the corner? It's the one in the corner we're watching? Well, there's another one right here having a lamb. How many sheets do we have, honey? How many sheets do we have, honey? Oh, it's a that, possibility oh, we could have two at one time. And, really? But you didn't notice her. I noticed um, everything then. Is that why you noticed the lamb in the wall? No. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about Wally, are you? That's right. <laughs> you said you noticed everything, but you didn't you didn't notice that a lamb went in the wall. That's kinda of embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't know how that even happened. Well, especially if you started growing in the wall. But Maybe. I mean, look at how small that hole is. How did it get in there? Anyway, we got we got two sheep now coming in, so that really puts a damper on things. So we need an extra jug. So out comes Giganto. The big girl's gonna come in now. Hi, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Don't be scared. Don't be scared. There she goes. See how long a Suffolk tail is? That's why we dock them. They're just a little too long. But look at the size difference between her and all the others. This, look, this looks like a month old lamb. <laughs> Don't go to the wrong mom. Don't have to learn that, eh? And as I walk down the runway, I can see a little lamb playing all by itself in the pen. Are you having a good time in here? Are you having a good time in here? I saw you jumping around. I saw you. I saw you jumping around. Yeah, you were having a good time by yourself. Yeah, you were having a good time. I can see that. I can see that. Where's your sister? No, where your, it's your brother, I guess. Where's your brother? So we, we helped this one out because it was a big one. It's still got the sack on it. That's the sack. That. And if that's over its nose, and it doesn't, and the mom misses that, because she's licking it, but she doesn't really know. See, but that can suffocate the lamb within, you know, seconds. And it's actually quite a tough membrane. This is a very, very big ram lamb for her. They're talking. And I'm gonna just back off away from her. I don't think she's gonna run away from it. Sprint's timers sometimes can. But you can see the size of her and the size of the lamb. She's loving it, and that's the main thing. In a very short time, we're gonna get this guy dipped and into the jug. So they, they can be warm and bonded. You can see the steam coming off him and where she's licking because it is a cold day today. So we had uh, that other girl that we, was lambing. She, uh, she had a lamb that was one leg back, which isn't usually a problem, but she's a first timer. And, of course, it wasn't the littler one that had one leg back. It was this big bruiser guy. So, she's just had them. Um, Arnie's going to, is cleaning out a jug for them. I'm hoping she won't run off. So, I'm just sitting with her for a second. But I think she's loving them and talking to them now. I don't know what they are yet. Hi, sweetie. You got goopers on your face. Yes, you got a few goopers. Yeah, a few goopers. But that's okay, Lammies. They're very pretty with goopers. In the first moment, she does all the licking, and she can get the smells of the lambs. And this, this is a critical bonding part. That's why sometimes when the mums run off and don't get to do this part, um, they often won't accept the lambs because they don't recognize them. This is, this is the critical, critical bonding uh, at moments. It's literally just minutes. And once they've done this for couple of minutes it's uh, usually locked in 
This is a really small ewe lamb. Well, she's just a, just a yearling. Um, and she had a really big lamb, this first one here that she's licking. So we figured no way a second. But sure enough, she's got a second. I don't even know where she hit it because she didn't even have much of a belly. Um, and the information on the other one that had the really big gram lamb, um, that was Angel. So she's had her first lamb and he's a, he's a huge lamb. Um, so she's in a jug bonding with him right now and they're doing fine and, uh, as soon as the, the next jug is cleaned out that Arnie's working on, we'll lure this you up. And then I think we're going to call it a day um, and see you again tomorrow. But we'll show you them in the jug. So everyone's uh, doing well and snuggled into their jugs and groups with their moms. We don't have any really outstanding problem now. All the two B babies drank bottles today, so I'm not tube feeding anybody. And uh, Hunchy today even drank off the bottle uh, feeder, so she's really improving. Um, all's well in the lambing barn. So um, we're gonna call it today for this episode, and hope you guys join us again tomorrow to see what uh, tomorrow tonight has to bring. Okay, bye for now.